Best Games Master of the series. It's a sad occasion. So amidst near tragic torrents of tears, let's go over to Games Master for the final challenge. Since this is our final challenge, I have come up with something a little special. The awesome arcade driving game, Rave Racer. Players have two laps to burn the rubber as they speed their way around the mountain track. As usual, with two-player driving games, we'll be swapping between the viewpoints of each contestant to keep up with the action, which I expect to be fast and furious. Right then, let's hit the gas! And here to burn rubber like there's no tomorrow, and bearing in mind this is our last show for Channel 4 anyway, there is no television tomorrow, please welcome Amar Ashraf and Cecil Dyer. <laughs> Right. Now, uh, Emma, you're obviously quite a big bloke. I'm not going to yeah. take too much mick uh, out of you. You study fashion. That's right. Yeah. And uh, so give me a quick appraisal. Well, it's not bad. It's got. a bit bland. Bland, you reckon? Yeah. I prefer the word classic. Yeah, you know, I think. Just about. Nice cut. Tapered, tapered legs in the bottom. It That's shows okay. off those skinny legs with yours, yeah. Does it? Yeah. All right, fine. Uh, I might give you a kick and actually if you're not careful. <laughs> Emma, not that it's fancy my chances much, of course, to be honest. I am bald and wear glasses. He is large and muscle bound. Uh, Cecil, now yeah. uh, you don't study fashion, obviously, <laughs> no. uh, but you do cook. Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. What kind of stuff do you cook? Caribbean dishes, English dishes, uh -huh. and if you what, really? Do you eat quite a lot then? Yeah, quite a bit, as you can see from the stomach. Uh, it's not for me to say, really, Cecil. And you cut hair? Yeah, I can cut hair as well. Do you cut your own hair? I just wonder whether you maybe hid it deliberately behind <laughs> that. <laughs> no, no, I don't cut my own hair, and I didn't cut yours either, don't no, you? Didn't, you know, yeah. Do you like my hair? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah? Could you do anything different with it, do you think? Um, just a little bit here and there. A little bit of hair here and there would be yeah. fantastic, actually. <laughs> Probably around the we temples. Call it the Air Jordan. OK, well, I think uh, basically I'm going to slap these two guys around a bit because they've been far, far too cheeky. At this point now, I would like you both to take your positions at the machine and I'm going to go up and have a chat to my wee pal, Derek. As I said, Mr Lynch, fine employee of Funland has helped me out with this one. OK, Derek, give us some tips. OK, the trick here is to get in the opponent's slipstream right up behind the car if to gain speed. If you're behind, yeah. That's right, if you're behind. Mm -hmm. And then you go on the inside lane and perhaps knock them out of control. So that's it, it's that inside lane that's going to be important that's if you're behind. Right, yeah. OK, thanks so much, Derek. Yeah. Right, whoever is in the lead at the end of the second lap will go away with our final Games Master Golden Joystick then. Best of luck, Cecil. Best of luck, Amar. Let's start the race. We're going to count in three, two, one. We'll start off with Cecil. And off they go, it's Cecil in first position, he got the slightly better start there, but it's, oh, it's just, it's very, very close though. Yes, if we go to Amar's screen now, we can see Cecil's red car in front of him here. It's not a lot in, there's only a couple of seconds. OK, so Amar's a little bit behind Derek, what would you do if you were him? That's right, he's got to try and stay, as I said earlier on, in the slipstream, cut the corners sharp and catch up with him, basically. OK, <laughs> okay we're still with Amar's screen, he's a little bit behind there. Cecil is tearing away, he's handling those curves fantastically. If we cut back now onto Cecil's screen, just after he's through this bend, we can see the blue car in his rear view mirror at the top. Now you can see Amar is catching up a little bit if he looks in his mirror, but that's probably just because uh, Cecil was slowing down to take a corner there. Let's go back to Amar's screen, he's catching right up, Derek. Oh, yes, very close. He's, he's going for that inside, like you said. He's taking the inside there, that's <laughs> Amar it. taking the lead. So let's go. Oh no, we do. Oh, oh yes, no, no he's still got the lead. It changed too quickly there for me, Derek. That's I didn't right. know what was happening. So it's still Amar in the lead, but still right. at Amar's now. Let's go back to Cecil's screen. You can see Amar in front of him. Now Cecil's going to have to do some of the slipstream stuff. Exactly. Derek. Right in the slipstream. He's got him again. And he has on the inside once again. Oh, Derek. he's lost it again. Oh, he's lost it. This is changing more than the weather. Okay, so we're with Cecil just now. He is behind him. Oh, oh, on the the and he's off now. He's going to go down to the lower screen here, Derek. That's right. This. He's fallen off the mountain and onto another track. But he can catch up if he can drive fast enough. OK, but he will probably lose some time here. Yes. OK, here he comes. He's back on the normal track. We can see right in front of him, there is Emma. So he hasn't lost that much time. He's been no. driving well, Derek. That's right. Okay. Well, one of the computer control cars are in the pink, but he got past them easily. So it's still, we're still with Cecil. Emar is still ahead. We're on the second lap, about halfway through. Bit of a spin there from Cecil. That's not going to help him. Emar is still streaking ahead, and he's probably about two or three seconds in the lead. Over to you, Derek. OK, here it's coming to the edge of the mountain here. Oh, he's doing well. The Straight into the tunnel. Took that well. He needs critical skill of breaking on the corners here. This is it. He can't afford to put a foot, a foot on a pedal wrong now, Cecil. He's just behind him, though. We're coming up. There's not much longer to go until we're at the end of the second lap. And they're just coming up there. You can see the checkpoint. That's the finishing line up there. It's still there. Oh, 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 OK. Now, uh, 
Dennis Sissel, you had the lead earlier on, but you basically blew it, didn't you, mate? Oh, uh, yeah, I was running on BR time. I don't know what happened there, mate. <laughs> well, it was that one stage where you fell, uh, you fell off, didn't you? Tumbled into the lower screen. Yeah, I just didn't know what was going on there. Huh? No. That's all. Some you win, some you lose, eh? That, oh, I didn't realise you were a philosopher. Start <laughs> calling you Cecil Sartre from now on, <laughs> won't we? Uh, OK, now, on to you, Amar. Was there ever any time where you thought that the, the challenge was in doubt? No, never. No? No. no. Always the best man wins. Uh-huh. I was the best man on the day. You certainly were, and, and you won. That's right. Some full of pocket philosophy from yourself yeah, as well. That's right. Anyway, well, two fine philosophers. Unfortunately, the joystick can only go to one of them, and indeed, the winner of the final Golden Games Master joystick is Amar! Yeah.